And today, I'm gonna do something unfathomable. I'm gonna try and do this entire hike video, vlog it, and just talk about the hike. No photo advice, no three ways to make your videos better. Just gonna hike and vlog it. I'm gonna try at least. It is June, which is unfortunate because it's way too hot out here. But hopefully we survive the heat and the climb and the bears. So let's get moving. Bye buddy. Just for the record, the only reason my parking job is so bad is because this car's parking job was equally bad. They don't have an excuse, I do. Also, my 14 mile round trip hike just became 15 miles because uh, parking at the trailhead was an absolute nightmare. So I had to park about half a mile down the road and now I'm walking up to the trailhead. At least the view's nice. So this trail is actually pretty damn crowded. But there's a cool waterfall about like one, maybe two miles into the trail. So I'm hoping most of the people here want to see that and not the mountain peak that we're hiking to seven miles up the trail. <laughs> been curious how much extra distance I actually do filming hiking videos from walking in and out of the shot so I'm going to start recording and we will see for this one Trudged on another mile or so. And now you can actually kind of tell that we're in the mountains. Weather today, it's very confusing. I can see now that I'm up here in more of an exposed area, not just the forest. There's a bit of cloud. There's some like some white puffy clouds and like some very gray stormy looking clouds, but it's also hot as hell. So we'll have to see, hopefully after Another 3,000 feet of elevation gain. We'll have a better view of these clouds. Speaking of elevation gain, the elevation map of this trail looks like a joke. It's not that steep, it's like a 10% gray, but it's so consistent. It just looks like an upside down V. Should I do it? I feel like I should do it. I'm gonna do it. That's right. 
So I've been out here for like an hour now. And I'm still not even two miles into the trail because I've just been stopping to film everything. It's so pretty. The mountains just look so good, dude. The ferns, the rivers, the views. It's tough to do a long hike and vlog at the same time. That's why I usually do like five mile hikes when I vlog or less. But uh, this time I wanted to try out going a little further. So at a certain point, I'm gonna have to just put the camera down and chug. I've still got like five miles to go until I get to the top. summit even though it doesn't look like it seeing as the summit isn't actually much of a summit I'm gonna head down a little ways of the trail and we can see a better view down there that I passed on the way up and finish off this video trail taking in the view other cameras shooting a time-lapse of one of these peaks over here which hopefully will turn out pretty well and it's been tough <laughs> hiking this trail not only because it was long I think I've done 10 miles at this point and 4,000 feet of elevation gain but trying not to shoot everything and balancing not shooting and getting to the summit on time with shooting and actually having a video tricky with the trail this long but it feels really good just to be out here <laughs> shooting in the mountains again rather than stuck inside um, and of course still be responsible quarantine's not over yet it's important to stay uh, away from people whenever you can all that if there's like one kind of silver lining i don't want to say silver lining but silver lining of being stuck inside for the last few months it's got to be just appreciating this so much more like instead of itching to get out of this state I've just been itching to get out of the house <laughs> I'm actually working on a much larger video uh, about that topic about how being stuck inside has made me kind of find this new appreciation for cool landscapes that are near where I live this is about a three hour drive to get here that'll be a big video with a lot of filming and a lot of editing involved so be on the lookout for that like a couple months but for now i guess remember that no matter where you live there is something cool and there's a cool national park state park wilderness area that you can go to and get some cool footage even if you don't think so it's about research you might have to hike 10 miles to get to it you might have to get up super early in the morning to see it with the right light but i promise you it is out there but i'm gonna let this time lapse finish up and then we will head uh, back down another seven or so miles back to where I parked. So one pretty cool, unique thing about this trail. So there's actually a lodge right here at the end, about a quarter mile from the summit. From what I've read, it stays booked up pretty much year round. But if you're lucky, you can hike up here 
spend the night and then hike out the next day. Probably better than doing the whole thing as a day hike like I'm doing. Ah, so good to see you.